All right there, YouTube. I've had a few people ask me about this uh, offline, actually. Um, you know, IRL. Somebody called me on the phone. Hey, what's up? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll show you how to do that with multiple audio tracks, too. Instead of just the one. You can just do it just like you did it with the one, but you have to click each one. I'll just, I'll make a video and show you. So basically, <laughs> so basically what I'm showing you here is in, in uh, Premiere, I, I've got three songs, four songs here. So there's a song here. That's one song. Song here, song here, and song here. There's four songs. Now I've, I've cut them down because I originally wasn't going to do this um, tutorial. But after I got done, I thought, well, I may as well go ahead and do it and show you how to manually do this stuff in Audition. So I'm going to get rid of this key. I'm going to bring this keyframe up. We'll leave this one like this. We'll get rid of this keyframe here. Let me just delete these keyframes. Delete the keyframe. Delete the keyframe. Shorten this up. Let's shorten it to right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how in, in Audition... You can, after you get done editing in Premiere, and you're completely done in Premiere, you can go to Audition and um, send your clips directly to Audition and use the Remix feature to remix these audio tracks to fit the length of your project that you need. I did a video about this already, but I did it with just one, one audio track, so let's do it again. And I was having some problems. I wanted to show you how to fix these problems. So the problem I'm having is... If I go to file, um, where is it? Edit. See, now I have to uh, edit in Adobe Audition sequence. When I click that, feature film, uh, it's in the right Adobe Audio, Audio Interchange. This is the part you got to remember. Entire sequence, send through dynamic link, blah, blah, blah. You click OK. And what happens is it's not opening in Audition. It wasn't, it didn't open on Audition for me. So if I open Audition, it's not in here. So Premiere, uh, Adobe messed up their, with the latest update, they messed up their thing. So now it's not coming into Audition. That sequence isn't coming in. So now you actually have to file open in Audition, and then you have to locate where your thing is. So it's under Edit, Projects, Rahil Isha. It's under, where is it? I told you it's right here where is it audition interchange feature film and then it's not these extracted while it's this this xml file Rahil Aisha I don't know how to, if somebody knows how to fix this where it will open automatically an audition please comment comment below comment below on how to fix this where audition will just right, open right up I don't know if I have to make xml files like notice how it's just a little folder maybe or a little file with unnamed like maybe i have to make xml files associated with audition but then they open in premiere too so i don't understand what i have to do to make these open directly in audition but anyway you click that you open it and then it brings them all in and here it is here's your timeline in audition so let's make it bigger here's your timeline down below here will be the video right here so i can Click up here, and you'll be able to see the video down below. See, the video's down here where my head is. I'll move myself over. Anyway, the video the video's down down there in the bottom. And I got some thing from Kayak. Okay, so if you want to extend this clip, like you're watching, you're like, okay, I want this music to extend right here. This song, I want this song to be longer, right? This one here. So let me zoom in on it. There's a way to zoom in, but I think it's control. Yeah. Pull control and scroll your mouse wheel. Okay, so I want this song to go over this song a little bit. But say this song ends right here. So instead of doing all this in, in Adobe and changing your keyframes and all that stuff, just click the song over here. Here's a clip. You go over here to the properties dialog on the left, and then you click enable remix. There it is. Now it analyzes this clip and it's enabling remix on this clip. Now if I bring my clip to the side, see how it's got the little remix thing? It looks like an arrow. If I move down here, it just goes like that. The little cursor 
goes turns into a little red square with little red little things. But if you go up a little bit, you'll see that it turns into like a little remix thing. That means I can drag this file out, say to that long. And now it'll automatically remix it to that length. Now I can take this this corner right here. I could take this fade out, drag it down like this, and now it fades out. So it's like I can do my fades and everything without having to do the two, you know, set two points and drag the volume mixer down. So now it made a change to that audio clip. And you can't you won't be able to tell that the change has been made. So then I go down to the to the next audio clip. So I go down to here. Say this one here. Okay, so I want this to end right here, right? Say I want this audio clip to end here instead of where it is. That's the end of the clip. It's no longer. I can't drag it out. It's as long as it is. So I go back over here to the properties. Click Enable Remix. On the next audio clip. And you can even drag it to the left on the one on top. Like if you weren't, if you didn't want to do this, say I wanted it to do whatever. I want to, you know, I just want to make it a little longer. I drag out the remix, stretch it to say here. This is where I wanted it, but I want this to fade in like that. So now it goes, it continues going. And then it fades out when it gets to the parts here. See? Perfect. So then I go to the next to the next group. Right here. Now see this one here, maybe I wanted this one to to extend to say here. So you do the same thing. It's not you have to click each each separate file to remix it. But when you click it, you click enable remix. It's su it's super simple to do this, and this is a feature that I don't see anybody else, like I hardly see anybody talk about this. I explain this to people that edit with different software and different things, and I'm like, you know, Adobe has a remix function that will allow you just to remix your audio, just make it the length that you need it right away. Boom! See these little lines? Put them in between there. Fixed. Now it's mixed. Now this audio track, you can't even tell. It's faded in. You can you literally can't tell that it puts it right in the middle of the thing. Even with vocals, it puts it right in the middle. See? Fixed. I mean it's this this software is just simply incredible. So the end of the video, let's see. It just fades out with them fading out. Okay, so like that. Say I wanted to make it let's let's say we wanted to do something a little bit different. Say I didn't want to remix the whole thing, I just want to remix this little part. So I can take the razor, slice it, right? Slice this clip. Now it's two clips. Now I take this clip, and now I can remix one, but not remix the other. So I could take this one and choose enable remix just on this little short bit, because I know it's already lined up right here. So for whatever reason, say I wanted to do um, junk, junk email, junk email. I go through the char griller. I mean, I get so much junk email. So, if I wanted to just remix the end of this clip. And the cool part is, with this, I'll show you, There's you can go back to Premiere if you want to, but you can also export directly out of Audition to whatever format it is you want. It's kind of a convoluted way of doing it, because it doesn't really... Um, okay, so this is ready. So now I can remix and drag this out. See, and it added points. Now it sometimes has to do a little bit further, so it fades out right there. So let's 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 change this fade to this. So let's see. Perfect. Okay. So when you're done, all you got to do is you go to File. There's two ways to do this. You could export. Export to Adobe Premiere Pro. Reopen the project in Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, let's try that first. So, export to Premiere Pro. We can see that it's going to be, I, it's, it automatically puts it in an older project. So, I'm going to tell where I want it to go. 
Uh, I don't want it to go there. <laughs> I want it to go to this one. Projects. Mahilisha. Mahilisha feature film AU tracks. Okay, save. So, AU tracks, 48 kilohertz. Each track, track is a sound. Open in Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, if I click export, it's going to export it. It says open in a pro okay so it it is automatically opening this in Premiere Pro. So it's working in this direction but not in the other direction. See uh, copy to active sequence new audio track. So basically what it does is it'll copy it to a new audio track. There's the new audio track. So what you do is you mute the old ones. All right? You you mute your old your other three tracks because now you have the remixed audio and you'll see they're in separate tracks see how they're going up and down and different things now it's remixed now it's the same exact audio but it's all remixed out as a new file and notice the audio is longer remember I extended the end of it okay so you can you can do it like that or you can actually file export mm, where is it Export with Adobe Media Encoder. So you can take this video file and directly export where you want it. So you can say, okay, I want it to go right here. Projects. Feature film, blah, blah, blah. I actually already have one there, so I'm just going to call it two. Save. Feature Film 2, H.264, Match Source. So you can save presets in in um, thing, or you can use a preset. So say I had a different preset and I wanted to save it. We're gonna, I'm going to go over this real quick um, because this is something people might want to know. So say I pick YouTube 1080p. Boom, fine. It's already set. You see it's VBR, one pass, target, blah, blah, blah. You can change this, right? The audio channel routing for audio routing options but you can't change this see I can't I can't change this so what you do is you have to go to Adobe Media Encoder no 1080p HD preset settings okay so you go in here preset settings HD let's call it um, two paths two pass so I'm gonna go in here to the settings and I'm gonna change this one pass to two pass and I might raise the maximum but lower the output because I have two pass now I might say use maximum render quality change frame sampling to optical flow right and everything else will, will remain the same we're gonna leave the everything else the same so save a copy Save a copy. Okay, so there it is. Oh, I saved it twice. I didn't see it. User presets and groups. So we can delete one of them. All right, use two pass, right? So there it is. So now if I go over to here and I choose cancel, so I go cancel. So now if I go file, export, uh, Adobe Media Encoder, it's going to open Adobe Media Encoder, but it's going to give me the option right here in Audition to pick what I want. See, Adobe Media Encoder was already open because I already opened it. So let's minimize this. So now I'm back here. HD2 Pass. See, that's the one that's now available right here at the top. See, YouTube 1080p 2 Pass. So if you look, it's 2 Pass, Target 21, Sub Max 1. See, the, every, all the changes are done. You click OK, and now it sends it to Adobe Media Encoder with those settings already in and ready to go. And then in Adobe Media Encoder, you can actually, um, in the newer version like this one, you can actually go through and say, I want it to also publish to YouTube or Vimeo or whatever. So basically you can, you can go, let's go um, reset status. Now I can, once I go reset status, I can go in here and I can save this as a preset, but I can also go publish. And I can scroll down and see you have all that. You go to Adobe Creative Cloud. You can plug Behance. Don't even use that. 
Facebook, I can have it go to Facebook. I'm not even logged in on my Facebook because I haven't uploaded directly to Facebook. FTP, I can upload it right directly to a server, which is sweet. Twitter, I can upload it to, tw to my Twitter account. So I can make little short tweet videos and upload them to Twitter. Vimeo, you can do upload them to Vimeo. Well, I'm going to show you what, how this works. So you Vimeo, not log in. It clicks log in. It comes up with authorizing the application. Log in with Facebook because my thing is logged in into Facebook. I'm going to pull this off screen for a second. Put in my user information for Facebook. Okay, now I'm going to bring it back. I'm going to bring it back so you can see it. Okay, it says authorize. This comes up. It allows me to do everything allow so now dnr films see i'm logged into vimeo under my dnr films account i can actually upload it to vimeo and then i can also go over here and say upload it to youtube also under this youtube channel this is my channel i can have it upload as unlisted public or private so i can just make it a completely private video unlisted video or just go ahead and make it public right from here this is the coolest feat it's one of the coolest features inside of um Adobe Media Encoder, but you can do all this directly from Audition. So I'm not even doing it through Premiere. I'm doing it from Audition, directly from Audition. I, I, I wrap my project up in Premiere. I completely get done with the edit. All I have to go do is go through and extend some audio clips, make some tweaks to the audio to extend them or shorten them up, fade them in, fade them out, whatever, to the different clips. Jump into Audition real quick, fade them in and out, do all my stuff file export directly to here I think you can um, I think you can save the preset with it uploading too as a preset but even if you can't all you got to do is stop the thing and then reset it and then click it and go in and change your like I just did all you have to do is go back in like I just did and click upload to Vimeo upload to YouTube whatever and manually set that to where it automatically uploads that's pretty cool they need to save they need to make that a preset where you can save the preset with the upload properties so when you pick that preset you could say uh, YouTube 1080p always upload to YouTube and then YouTube 1080p you know that way you can have a preset that you could pick you could say YouTube 1080p private YouTube 1080p public YouTube 1080p unlisted or YouTube and Vimeo 1080p you know whatever you can have different settings where you can have them where it automatically will render it upload it to YouTube and Vimeo and then delete the original file or keep it or whatever but anyway that's that's a little um, tutorial I know it's you know 15 minutes long or whatever sorry I can't help it I'll tend to ramble but at least I give you some kind of information that maybe it'll help you if you're if you're trying to use these programs and you're like what in the heck does this do or how do I quickly edit this audio or how do I you know shorten this song or lengthen the song in an easy way rather than dragging the end of it trying to put a up and down you know uh, uh, points up and down and lower and raise the volume just do it in audition it's faster just just knock it out all in audition you can go through and tweak everything you can go through the audio you can go through um, everything like uh, vocal stuff you can have it do all different kind of stuff for sweetening up the voices if people are doing toasts and speeches getting rid of background noise all kind of stuff right here in audition do it all here don't w waste your time doing that in Premiere Premiere has some tools for that and you can do some stuff in Premiere but 90% of the time I end up having a ping pong over to audition anyway so just do it all over in audition at once finish the project Send it over audition do all this stuff that you want to do fix all the audio and then send it right out to uh, Adobe media encoder. It's a good way to do it fast and easy like it. All right. Have a good day. See you YouTube